Is another breakthrough invention waiting for us to solve all the issues in the power sector? Well, according to the researchers, it's a big yes. But I assure you, the idea is even more fascinating than the news. What if I tell you that your own house could become a storage system of rechargeable batteries? No, I am not kidding. Every tech enthusiast is damn excited about this. Presenting the future of energy storage, concretes. Yes, the concrete energy storage technology is going to be the holy grail of the renewable energy sector. In today's video, we will dig deeper and find out is concrete really the future of energy storage? Stay tuned till the end. Welcome to Futured. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for everything on future technology. Let's get started. The cost of wind and solar power generation has plummeted considerably in recent decades. This is one of the reasons why the U.S. Department of Energy expects renewable energy to be the fastest growing energy source in the U.S. by 2050. But you obviously need to store the energy to utilize it. Exactly at this point, numerous problems arise. We've become accustomed to having electricity available on demand. The intermittent nature of renewables may put a strain on the present grid system's dependability. The system is intended to guarantee that power plants generate the proper quantity of electricity at the right time to fulfill demand. Therefore, integrating fluctuating renewable energy sources into the grid is difficult. Because the grid's storage capacity is limited, the supply and demand balance must be carefully planned. To avoid blackouts, energy generation must be consistent and predictable. There are instances when renewable energy sources provide surplus electricity that the system cannot handle. In the case of wind turbines, for example, if demand is low but the wind is blowing hard, the frequency goes too high. When demand is high but wind speed is low, the frequency falls short of what is needed. These variations can have a severe influence on the grid and result in costly grid damage. That's why energy storage is critical. However, to actually realize the problem, you have to go deeper into the subject. Energy storage will play an increasingly important role in integrating variable energy sources into the grid and guaranteeing energy constancy as technology improves. This also means that as time goes on, more and more positions in the industry will become accessible. According to NREL experts, there is the potential to enhance renewable energy storage capacity in the U.S. by as much as 3,000% by 2050. Investors have been flocking to renewable energy for several years. Their ambition is that solar energy can be used to power the world economy indefinitely, both directly and through intermediates such as the wind and the biosphere. This optimism is justified given the numerous advantages of renewable energy, which span from environmental to geopolitical. Nonetheless, the barrier to switching society to renewable energy should be quantified with caution and scientific rigor. The greatest serious threat to renewable energy is competition from fossil carbon, which has been the world's principal energy source for the past 150 years. For a variety of reasons, fossil carbon has dominated the energy market, not least because of its intrinsic mass and volume energy densities. Indeed, one kilogram of crude oil has almost 50 megajoules of chemical potential energy, enough to lift one metric ton to a height of 5,000 meters. Furthermore, at Earth's surface temperatures, crude oil is liquid, making it simple to store, transport, and convert. But every little child knows what fossil fuels have done to our planet, so it's quite obvious we are going to look for renewable energy with a futuristic storage system. Many firms and scientists are working hard to enhance energy storage technology, and we believe significant progress will be accomplished. Thermodynamics, on the other hand, may be used to determine the top limits of what is conceivable for a range of technologies. And we see that many technologies will never be able to compete with fossil carbon in terms of energy density. Let us begin with the batteries. Lead-acid batteries now have a storage capacity of roughly 0.1 megajoules per kilogram, which is about 500 times less than crude oil. Of course, those batteries may be improved, but underlying thermodynamics restrict any battery based on the typical lead oxide sulfuric acid chemistry to fewer than 0.7 megajoules per kilogram. It should be remembered that the electrolyte in lead acid batteries is sulfuric acid, which is caustic and harmful to come into contact with. As a result, extreme caution should be exercised, and the batteries should not be stored in a position where they may leak, and lithium ion batteries have a tendency to catch fire. However, battery storage allows consumers to store extra solar energy for later use. This minimizes dependency on coal-fired power plants, resulting in the majority of electricity being green. Batteries do not endure indefinitely, and proper disposal is required to minimize harmful environmental consequences. Batteries are split down into their various components when recycled to waste as little material as possible. As a result, there is a high level of sustainability in renewable energy storage systems. But we will never achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050 unless we find a means to decarbonize the world's electrical supply. 
electricity and heat generation account for a quarter of all global emissions. And as practically every activity requires electricity, improving power systems has far-reaching consequences. This will become increasingly important as more aspects of our life get electrified, especially heating and transportation, which will be difficult to decarbonize in any other manner. According to the International Atomic Energy Agency, all of this electrification is predicted to increase power generation by 2050. However, without a simple mechanism to store enormous amounts of energy and then release it as needed, we may never be able to eliminate our reliance on filthy, polluting, fossil fuel-fired power plants. Gravity energy storage comes into play here. Gravity, according to proponents of the technique, provides a simple solution to the storage problem. Rather than depending on lithium-ion batteries, which deteriorate over time and need rare earth metals that must be mined, gravity systems might provide a cheap, plentiful, and long-lasting energy storage that we're currently disregarding. But they'll have to construct a completely new means of storing power to prove it, and then persuade an industry that's already invested heavily in lithium-ion batteries that the future of storage is huge weights falling from vast heights. You are possibly thinking that we are just spewing insanity, so get ready to be astonished. This technology used by the energy storage company Energy Vault consists of a nearly 400-foot-tall six-armed crane with custom-built concrete blocks weighing over 35 metric tons apiece. An AI commands the concrete blocks to rise when solar or wind energy is sucked into an Energy Vault tower. The blocks are then returned to the ground, and the kinetic energy created by the falling brick is converted back into electricity. The kinetic energy is then used to drive a motor, which then sends the energy back into the grid via an inverter. According to Energy Vault, the method had a round-trip efficiency of 80 to 90 percent. Insane technology, right? Actually, after water, concrete is the most widely utilized substance on the planet. Researchers have been researching the possibility of utilizing concrete to store power, effectively creating structures that behave as enormous batteries because it already surrounds us in the world of architecture. But concrete batteries have only been able to store a fraction of the energy that a typical battery can. However, one group of researchers describes a rechargeable prototype material that could offer a more than tenfold increase in stored charge over previous attempts. The concept is still in its infancy. Extending the battery's service life and developing recycling processes are among the technological issues that need to be resolved before the approach can be commercialized. Emma clarified, since concrete infrastructure is usually built to last 50 or even 100 years, the batteries would need to be refined to match this or to be easier to exchange and recycle when their service life is over. For now, this offers a major challenge from a technical point of view. However, the researchers believe that their invention has a lot to offer. This notion will contribute significantly to future construction materials having extra functionalities such as renewable energy sources. A rechargeable cement battery might revolutionize the way you store energy by transforming your home's walls into a massive battery. Now, tell me what you think about it. When the home itself is a battery, you wouldn't have to be worried about installing external batteries to power your home. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. On that note, it's time to end the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get updated with everything on future technology. Thank you for watching.